This has been the NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Please stay tuned for our next program in progress. Gosh, wasn't that story about the heart transplant amazing? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was fantasizing what Tom Brokaw looks like naked. <laughs> he must have sensed it. I thought I saw him looking down your blouse. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi, Tony. Look, Dorothy, we won the dance contest at the Sons of Italy Bash. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I had no idea you were such a good dancer. In the over 80 category, you don't have to be. We were the only couple who could do the mambo without a walker. <laughs> don't believe her. Your mother has some great moves. I'll see you tomorrow, Sophia. Okay, Tony, take care. <laughs> Give me a break, would you? You really like Tony a lot, don't you, Sophia? Why shouldn't I? He's the best catch in town. He's got his own hair, his own teeth, and a totally unrestricted driver's license. <laughs> hey, at my age, that's like dating Tom Cruise. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Rose. Hi. Rose? <laughs> yes, Dorothy? Is that a chicken you're carrying in that cage? Gee, I think it is. See, <laughs> Rose? Now, before you all say no. No! Oh, oh please, <laughs> just hear me out. Now, you've, you've heard me speak about Sylvia Butel down at the Grief Center. This is her chicken. Sylvia Butel? Isn't she the woman who thought Milton Burrow was sending her secret messages through her dentures? <laughs> yes, but with extensive counseling and some new bridge work, she's totally back to normal. <laughs> Rose, the woman keeps a chicken in her house. How normal can she be? <laughs> I kept a chicken in my home. You see my point? <laughs> I will not have that filthy beast in my house. It belongs in a barnyard. This is not a farm chicken. Count Bessie is a showbiz chicken. Where do you see this? A showbiz chicken. What's she do, play the piano? <laughs> she plays the piano. <laughs> you just wait till you see this. Okay, honey, come on, it's showtime. Yeah, come on, sweetheart. Oh, I know, I know, here we go. Okay, Count, get it. Incredible. What do you say, girls? Can she stay? I guess so. All right. Oh, thank you. But just be sure and keep her in her cage. Oh, maybe I can convince the Count to give us some live entertainment with dessert. <laughs> Have you any requests? How about Bye Bye Birdie? <laughs> you know, I'm old. Sometimes I get confused. So I want to make sure I have this absolutely right. Rose works in a place where they help people with mental problems? That's right, Ma. Anybody know how to get in touch with Morley Safer? <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Maybe it's the Count's clarinet player, Henny Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Angela! No, Sophia Loran, I stopped using oil of Olay. <laughs> Angela! Sophia! Hello there! Uh, what's wrong? Nothing. You traveled 5,000 miles from Sicily for nothing? I know what it is. The Balducci Petrillo Vendetta is still on. Dorothy, go out and buy a dozen mattresses, 30 pounds of pasta, and some aluminum foil for the windows. There is no vendetta. There's not even a Balducci family anymore. They all ate some sausages that they shouldn't have at their last family picnic, and they all died. <laughs> Food poisoning. No, they stole the sausage from the Calabrese family. <laughs> So what are you doing here? Well, I took a vacation to come and see you. Didn't you get my letter? No, we never got a letter. She never sent it. She forgets. I don't forget anything. Hi, Angela. Hi, Blanche. No, honey, I'm Blanche. Doesn't that make it confusing, having two Blanches in the same house? <laughs> and Angela, honey, wouldn't you like to lie down? You've had a long trip. I don't want to lie down. I just got here. Oh, I always get tired after a long trip. <laughs> I remember one time Daddy took the whole family cross state on our tractor to visit great-grandfather Zigbotton. <laughs> <laughs> Great-grandpa Ziggy was a famous inventor. He developed the first, and to my knowledge, the only low-voltage meter that could detect what kind of a center a piece of candy had. 